Hello everyone. I'm so happy you're here today. We're going to be making a snowman soup. You might remember this one from last year. Isn't this adorable? But we're going to make an even cuter one today. We're going to make this one. Hi Stampers, this is Dawn and today we're going to make a snowman soup pouch, but it's going to be so cute because, look, this is the one we made at my Glitter Queen's retreat with Dee Slater. She gave us the directions. Let me show you. So we had this as our little project and she gave me the directions. So we're going to make this today, but we're going to make the real red version. But look, it's a little pouch and then you can open it. And you can put like a gift tag over here. Now in my version over here, I put a gift card and some lottery tickets. So this little side pocket here can hold quite a bit of items. But isn't it cute the way it's all in one? So you got the card and then a little gift card holder there. And then also a little treat in the front. So you could probably put a candy bar in there. But we're just going to stick with the whole snowman soup, which is this one right here. So now let me show you. Here's this one. Now I'm going to take Dee's little peppermint spoon here and put it in mine. This is These are the snowman come on assemble little pouches that I got from Amazon. And they're little freeze dried marshmallows in there. And then I got a hot cocoa mix from Ghirardelli. Okay, so that's what's inside my pouch. And then you open it. And then here's my lottery tickets. And then also a gift card. Then you can sign the all-in-one gift right there. Isn't that adorable? Love it. All right, so let's go ahead and make this one. And I'll also post the link to this one down below in the description box in case you want to see this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So let me give you all the measurements. We're going to cut and score this piece of row red. This piece is cut at 8.5 by 9. And then we're going to use the gingerbread and peppermint designer paper. We're going to need three pieces. These are all cut at 3 and 3 fourths by five and a fourth. Then this piece is cut at two and a fourth by three and three fourths. Then you're gonna need a little strip cut at three fourths by five and a fourth. Then a piece of basic white, which is cut at three and a quarter. Yep, three and a quarter by four and three fourths. Yep. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab our paper trimmer. All right, we're gonna start on the eight and a half inch side across the top. We're going to score this. Let me move this down here. So eight and a half inch side across the top. We're going to score it at two and a half and three. Okay, then we're going to turn it on the nine inch side. So I'm going to keep these two score lines that we just scored, the two and a half and three, at the very top of my paper trimmer. So we're going to turn it on the nine inch side across the top. And we're going to score this at one and five. So now here's the trick. The next three score lines, we're only going to score up to this three inch score line that we did. Remember, we scored it at two and a half and three right here on the eight and a half inch side. So along the nine inch side, we're going to make three more score lines, but we're only going to score down to that three inch score line. Okay. So keeping that on the nine inch side across the top, we're going to score it at a half inch. We're going to score down to that three inch score line. So score it half inch down to the three inch, then slide it over to five and a half. And once again, we're going to score this only down to that three inch score line. And then slide it over to six and score it down to that three inch score line. Okay, so now it should look like that. Hopefully it picks up on the camera. Okay, all right, now we're going to go ahead and do some cutting. So let me grab my scissors. All right, now we're going to remove this square right here. So we're going to cut on that three inch score line. And then we're going to cut this first score line right here with the one that we did up to the three inch score line. Okay, so it should look like that now. Then we're going to remove these two little squares right here. And the easiest way I found to cut this is to fold on this score line over here and then we can cut that off just like that. 
Okay, now we're gonna do this over here. So I'm just gonna remove these two little squares. Once again, I'm gonna fold on this score line so I can cut up to that. Little two squares cut off that. Okay, so now it looks like this. So now this is the pouch. All right, so let me go ahead and grab my corner rounder. This is the Detailed Trio Punch, and it's got three punches in one. So what we're gonna use is this corner rounder punch right here. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna corner round all the top edges up here, okay? So now this is the way the, the template is gonna go together. So this is gonna fold up here. And then remember, this is the little pocket that's gonna be formed to put your gift card and your lottery tickets. And then this card is gonna fold back, okay? So you might wanna go ahead and reinforce your score lines. Okay, so now this is where we're gonna corner around all the top edges. So we're gonna corner around this one over here. I'm just gonna make sure it's the corner rounding part, not the other two, because then you're gonna have a mess. Okay, so corner around that one. Then you will be able to close it and corner around the, both of the edges at the same time, but you might have to stand up to put your weight into it. So it gives a really nice corner rounder edge there. Okay, and then do the same thing with this edge here where the little pocket is formed. Close that over and then corner around that when it's closed up together. Just making sure it's lining up. And then you're gonna open that up and then do this inside pouch over here. Okay. So then this is what your top section should look like with the, all the points corner round with your detail trio punch. And then we're gonna go ahead and do our layers of our designer paper. Now I did do a lot of them ahead of time, but I wanna show you what I did. So this one's gonna go on the front. And then I did kind of like the same colors, like the real red and the basic white. And then you can see, I'll bring Dee's back in and show you hers, the way she did it with different colors of the designer paper. So really, you can't mess up making this cute little holder, with, especially with this cute little gingerbread and peppermint designer paper. So then this one is going to go on the inside over here. So you want to round the corners on the top. Edge. So now I have this one to do that's going to go on the inside over here. So we're just going to round the corners on the top. Okay, so those are rounded. And then this piece right here is going to go at the very bottom. So we're not rounding the corners on that piece. Okay, and then the basic white piece, your three and a quarter by four and three fourths, you can round just the top corners on that. But you can do the bottom too. It's totally up to you. All right, and then also this piece here, this is the three fourths by five and a fourth. This is gonna go on to this little pocket. So you wanna round the points on that top edge of that little strip too, okay? So I just went ahead and did that to save some time. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and adhere all our pieces. So I'm gonna be using the liquid glue. This is the green lid glue, also known as. And so now we're gonna put our cute little red and white peppermint paper on the inside. Making sure you get your rounded edge so it matchy matches on the top. And once again, this rounding the corners is totally optional. When um, Dee did hers, I thought it was very cute because it does make it, you know, it's all about the details, especially when they're such cute little gifts. But you don't have to do that. It's still cute no matter what. All right, so we're gonna put our designer paper in there. Then we're gonna take our little strip here. Remember, this is gonna make your little pouch here, your little pocket. And I'm just gonna put the piece of designer paper onto the panel over here. But we're gonna seal this up on the very top and the bottom to make the pocket. And you wanna do this before you actually put the, the little holder together 
because I found that holding this glue down, because I'm going to use the liquid glue, holding this section down when this part is folded up to make the little pouch is kind of hard to hold this bottom section here. So just go ahead and put that piece together with the glue. Okay, so then this is going to make your card section right here. Let me get this glue off my finger. All right, now we're going to put our other piece on the front. Okay, and then this is going to get folded up. We're going to grab some tear and tape. We're going to put tear and tape on the outside edge here. So if you fold these in, we're going to put tear and tape here and tear and tape here. So let me go ahead and do that. Just taking off the release paper of the backing of the tear and tape. Okay, now we're going to make our little pouch. This is going to be folded up, and we're just going to line this up on the edge of our, like, the base of the card part. Just like that, and make sure that tear and tape seals down really nicely. I'm going to grab my bone folder. You can put your bone folder inside of the pouch to seal that down really nice. And then do this side the exact same way. So then that's your little pouch. Then you have the opening for the card piece. Isn't that cute? All right, and then this piece is going to go on the front right here. So we're going to put that on with the liquid glue as well. I'm kind of bringing in the peppermint from the inside of the card to the outside to the pouch. So adorable. Okay. So that's it, decorated and put together. Now we're gonna do some stamping. So let me grab my stamps. We are using the Frosted Gingerbread Stamp Set. Now all this whole suite is retiring except for a few items, but for sure the stamp set, Frosted Gingerbread, and then also the Gingerbread Dies, which these are available in a bundle still right now from the holiday catalog, but the dies and the stamp set are retiring as well as the designer paper. We're going to use the Wishing You a Merry Christmas, and then the little peppermint stamp, and then the Happy Holidays for the inside. And then I went ahead and die cut out the layering circle dies. This circle is, let me see here, this is about two and three eighths size of a circle, and then the scallop is about two and three quarter. Okay, so I went ahead and die cut those out. We're going to stamp on the basic white. Going to use the Real Red Classic Ink, and I'm going to stamp. Remember, I corner round just the top edge of my basic white, so I want to make sure I'm stamping this correctly with the greeting going the right direction. So we're just going to stamp Happy Holidays right in the center. Then we're going to take our little peppermint. I'm just going to stamp a few of them in the corners. That cute. And then for our greeting for the front, I'm going to use this little circle here. Wishing you a Merry Christmas. Just like that. Okay, then we're going to layer these pieces together. This one's going to go on the scallop real red piece that we die cut out. And then this is going to go on the front of our pocket right here. And then this piece is going to go on the inside of our card. Over here to the right hand side. Now this designer paper you can see has the peppermints and the die. Let me show you. If you didn't want to stamp the candy you could also die cut the little peppermints out with the single individual round circle right here will fit on those candies. And then also there's a stamp that has the three shaped of the peppermints. So that's like one die to cut those all out. And then you have three different sizes for the little peppermints too. Okay. 
Then this is going to go on the front with some dimensionals. I'm going to put three of them at the very bottom edge of our greeting on the back side because this top part is going to kind of like lean over the pocket. Let me show you. So I just put them at the very bottom. Then we're going to put this with the dimensionals right here on the pocket, but yet the top is going to hang over a little bit. Just like that. Isn't that adorable? All right, now we're going to tie a bow. We're also using a retired ribbon. This is retiring from the holiday catalog. This is the Real Red 3-8 Sheer Ribbon. I'm just going to tie a bow really quick, and we're going to put that on with the glue dot. I'm going to put my glue dot right here at the very bottom. And then attach my bow right down there too. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. All right, so let me show you all the goodies you can put in this. Okay, so like your miniature size candy bars, these would fit in here if you just wanted to put candy. And then of course we're doing the snowman soup. So for mine, I'm putting the hot cocoa and the freeze dried marshmallows. And then I got the spoon from Dee, but she said she got all that on Amazon. Now with Dee's here, this one actually came with the spoon from our retreat that she gave us. But she used the cinnamon cider cardstock and then she used all the different designs on all the sections of the gingerbread and peppermint designer paper. So it makes it really cute and festive. So now also to give you an idea, the ink pad also fits inside the pouch. So I'm assuming like a Kit Kat candy bar would fit in here. So anything that's the size at least the the width of the ink pad will fit into your pouch it can go a little bit higher like our hot cocoa packs here so they stick up a little bit higher but that's an idea of what can fit in this pouch so quite a bit of stuff can fit in there okay so then here's the one that we made last year and this one is just using the nestle's um hot cocoa mix and then these are the peppermint chocolate covered peppermint stirs that I also got last year from Amazon and I'll post the link down below this video for this video and then that video will also have the links to those so I don't know if they're even available yet the marshmallows and the little peppermint stirs but I got them last year so they should still be over there all right so if you have any questions please let me know that's what I'm here for also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos and then if you like today's video, give me a thumbs up. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye.